The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Botest.com, and in this video, we're going to be conducting a features inspection of a new launch from Greenline Yachts, the 45 Fly. She's got clear design stylings from super yacht interior designer Marco Casali and can be ordered with two or three staterooms. Let's step aboard and see how they've done. We board from several ways. There's of course the swim platform with its extended steps to the side, a side door to starboard midships, a gate in the bow rail, and a passerelle that extends from the starboard side steps to the aft deck. This passerelle has a load capacity of 150 kilograms, so one at a time crossing over. This aft deck is the first of three outdoor venues and it's quite comfortable and inviting. The extended flybridge deck, six feet nine inches overhead, provides protection. There's a seven foot bench across the transom with a teak table on fixed pedestals that includes intricate pattern work. A centerpiece flips over to convert to beverage holders. Lifting the end cushion provides deck access to the storage underneath, allowing for loading up the toy storage area if that option is selected. Stairs to both sides lead down to the 4 foot 4 inch by 10 foot 9 inch teak covered swim platform. It's hydraulically actuated so it can launch a tender or serve as a private beach. Choose from 300 kilo or 500 kilo lift capacity. Sockets to port will accommodate a reboarding ladder if it is used in the up position. A second ladder is to starboard, deployable from the water. An optional electric grill and sink can be mounted at the transom. And we can opt for a toy storage garage even with the electric grill option selected. There are 15 inch wide side decks to both sides that includes protection 6 feet 8 inches overhead and coming out 19 inches from the cabin sides. Bulwarks come up 27 inches and rails top out at 33 inches. Two 7 inch steps at midship signal a transition from teak to fiberglass non-skid decking. At this point the bulwarks come up to 19 inches and rails top out at 30 inches. Continuing forward, there's a 61 by 78 inch sun pad. The head lifts to chaise lounge style and adding two sets of receivers to the seat back would allow for adjusting into more positions. Pop-up lighting is just behind. And of course, a bimini can be erected to add shade to the lounging and doesn't seem to impinge on the visibility from the lower helm. The last of our exterior gathering areas is in the flying bridge accessed from stairs to the port aft deck. This has been widened, providing protection to the side decks below. This welcoming entertainment venue starts aft with a full-width L-shaped settee wrapping around a solid wood table on a fixed pedestal. A flip leaf expands the table, and as with the aft deck table, a centerpiece flips from beverage holder to a more solid surface. Just ahead, the optional outdoor galley includes a sink and an electric grill. Underneath a stainless grab rail is storage and a refrigerator. Fully forward is a large sun pad. All this is protected overhead by a large bimini with integrated LED lighting that when lowered really adds to the sleek profile of the 45. Back at the aft deck, the access to the interior is mirrored. We can combine the inside with the outside by opening the bifold doors, lifting the 44 inch by 33 inch side window, and then we can bring down a counter extension. Now the aft galley is the center of the two main gathering areas on this deck. Headroom here is six feet seven inches, the counter is fabricated from Karak and has a welcome raised edge all around. A sink includes a cover to provide more counter space. The sprayer pulls out. Above are cabinets. Aft is a two burner electric stove. Below is a convection microwave. And across is the refrigerator and freezer surrounded by storage including a coffee maker garage. Under the cushion just ahead, Greenline can install a wine chiller. We step up to the salon with an interior designed by super yacht designer Marco Casali. It starts with a padded bench to starboard. To port is an L-shaped sofa with a natural wood table on a high-low pedestal. An elevated seating space is just ahead with storage forward of that. All this filled with natural light from the large side windows and choose either curtains, shades or wood blinds. A button to the side of the bench seating brings up a 32 inch TV and yes, when closed we can still sit here. But because it's a flip TV and not a high-low style, storage is underneath. We access the accommodations by the usual center-mounted 24-inch wide companionway right next to the helm. Stairs have courtesy lights and storage underneath can accommodate a washer-dryer combo. Below is a three-stateroom, two-head layout. Let's start just aft at the master stateroom. This full-beam stateroom includes an actual king-size berth so you can buy a replacement mattress anywhere. The Alpi veneer is available in this teak, oak or walnut finish. 
Extra large windows to both sides reflect natural light off the mirrored headboard. Night tables are to both sides with USB charging. Headroom at the entrance is 7 feet 1 inch, dropping to 6 feet as we step further in, leaving 3 feet 4 inches over the berth. There's a settee to port just under the window. An opening port is at the top. A storage locker is just ahead. To the forward bulkhead is a 22 inch TV that can also be mounted here if desired. We can even place a larger one here, and in the standard configuration, this location becomes an entry to a walk-in closet. To starboard, there's a storage bureau with a closet just ahead. Just a port of the entry is the ensuite. It includes a vessel sink atop a Corian counter, an electric flush toilet, and an enclosed walk-in shower that includes both rainfall and handheld wand. As we continue forward, the guest stateroom is optional. In this configuration, it includes an 80 inch by 51 inch berth with no access to the sides. Bunk beds are another available option. Headroom is 6 feet 8 inches and there are windows providing views and natural light. Storage is just ahead. In the standard configuration, this is the walk-in closet from the master and another for the VIP. Across the companionway is the day head, again with a walk-in shower. The VIP is fully forward and includes a private entrance to the day head we just came from. As with the master, this stateroom has a standard queen size berth so the mattress can easily be replaced and because Greenline carries the beam so far forward, it's not jammed into position. It's quite roomy. Headroom is 6 feet 7 inches. There are windows surrounding the trunk cabin providing the natural light to this stateroom thanks to the cutouts and the bulwarks. Nice touch there. There are also four opening ports below. Artificial light is from sconces to both sides of the mirrored headboard. Storage is below the ports, in lockers just behind, repeated to the opposite side, and in night tables to both sides of the berth. Now, if desired, we can add a bulkhead here with a private door. This head door can then be removed or kept since we have another private entrance to the head right inside. The guest stateroom can be made into a closet for the master that we already mentioned by adding a bulkhead so, closet aft with another door added, and then we have another closet for the VIP. Regardless of what configuration you choose, there's no sacrifice in size to the two main cabins or heads. The Greenline 45 is not only comfortable, but ergonomic, as every location offered roomy space to move about. Everything was carefully thought out and designed to accommodate large groups on board in multiple gathering areas. One important consideration, whether at the dock or on the hook, the entire yacht's electrical system can be run off the boat's 600 amps of battery power running through an inverter and recharging through the dual 300 watt solar panels. Refrigeration, lighting, everything. With the hybrid version, we can even run the air conditioning without the need for shore power. She's available on either shaft drive, hybrid drive to run on electric power, and even IPS. So it's all about choices, but that's covered in another video. Be sure to look for it. For now, this is my features inspection of the all-new 45 Fly from Greenline Yachts. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.